What is up guys and today's video I'm doing a mailbag time everything that have been requested or constantly talked about when is arriving just arrived yesterday so let's get started first of all the most thing that have been requested are the mamba stacks now these are pretty insane they're really really crazy priced they have a 20 by 20 and a 30 by 30 stack we're gonna leave these for a little bit later let's start with the other things here that's currently in front of us fly color has released a new four in one esc actually and uh they have sent me one for testing and review which is gonna be pretty interesting and let's just take a look at this so it's a 40 amp esc with a 5 volt regulator on board which is really nice and they put drone mesh on there. It makes me not want to use it because it's just this is the first product that has my name on it, which is really nice. But we're going to see how well this is going to test. It's looking somewhat pretty good. I really can't tell what's inside just yet, but we will have to remove the heat sink before we test it and we take a good look at it. As you can tell, it does have 5 volt regulator on board. And uh, we'll see that in a later video, which will be I have a dedicated day for ESC testing, which we should see that all these tests in a couple days. So let's put this away real quick. And we'll see that in that video. So it's pretty nice. We'll see how much this costs. Also, I have no idea just yet. Also, HGLRC actually contacted me. And they said, hey, we would like to send you the PCB for review. Or PDB. So this is the PDB up to a 6S that has four-piece LEDs in them. We're going to take a look at this later on. We'll see what we'll do with it. I have no idea just yet. Maybe just like a little overview video. Or maybe I'll figure out something to do with stress testing with this. So it's going to be pretty interesting. And by surprise, they also even sent me a 4-in-1 ESC. This is a 35 amp 4-in-1 ESC. Filtration is absolutely minimal, which is kind of scary. Well, currently it doesn't really say what it's rated up to, but I'm guessing it's a success. Filtration is absolutely minimal here. So I have no idea what to expect on this, but we will see it as time goes on. So let's put this guy away. And I picked up also the Racer Star ESCs and also some Spedex ESCs. Let's take a look at the Spedex. Now, I have tested the Spedex IS30, and they were really good. They're actually one of the best budget ESCs, like a proper budget ESC. And the reason why I say budget is because of the price, but it's actually, it used to be a premium ESC, but now just because it's old, it's not considered that expensive. So I picked up these Spedex ES30 amp ESCs, HV, so they're 3 to 6S LiPo, and the filtration looks really nice. You got a nice little tantalum capacitor, and you also have an LDO regulator right there. LDO regulators are very good in the fact that they can... Um, with handle noise a lot better than a switching regulator. So this is something that's very nice and that could explain why they could run pretty good. So we'll see this test also very soon. Also, Racer Star, which is somewhat important, are these new Slim. This is the new trend lately. Uh, so the market's kind of dying down and uh, there's really nothing new. So that's why basically Maytek pulled out and went to the flying wing section or the flying wing uh, market right now. And uh, so so they still, they still produce the stuff they produce, but they have no more R&D inside uh, drones as much anymore because there isn't many new people coming and joining. And that's why people are trying to push to get new people to join because it's just saturated now. There isn't really a lot of new people and just it's just the same people that's in the current community as that's what I've heard. So this is the new Racer Star PGA35. It's a slim ESC. It's actually very tiny, really nice. Look at this fat heat sink. The really small MOSFETs here. So I don't, I don't think I would recommend putting this on anything above a 4S. And uh, they do provide it, which is really nice. When we first were looking at this through the Banggood window shopping, we were like, what the hell? There is basically no filtration here. So I think they were watching the video and they maybe even did run some tests before because what they have installed for us here is a Rubicon 25 volt 330 microfarad low ESR capacitor, which theoretically should be pretty good on a, such an ESC right here, especially if you use this on a 4S. Now this is theoretical when I'm saying up to a 4S. It could run 5S and 6S. I don't know. I haven't read the specs either, but for the size of the FETs, I would consider you just stick with a 4S with these guys. And I think they were pretty cheap also. I don't really remember. So let's put these to the side. I also picked up these ones as well. These ESCs, th those Razer Star ESCs and the Mamba were really requested like a lot actually. Like as much as the Hobbywing x or G2 stack thingy that got burned. So this is also another ESC which we also looked at when we were doing the Banggood window shopping and we saw no filtration which was really scary. But this one also has, let me see the size of the MOSFETs here. Um, I think they're 3x3 three three FETs, so they're a little bit bigger than the, the slim ones, which is really good to see. No filtration, except also they've added a 330 25-volt Rubicon low ASR capacitor, which is, to be honest, a must, or else it'll probably burn immediately, especially if you're racing. So this is going to be maybe a really nice backup ESC or some kind of a budget ESC. I still don't even know the price, but we're going to be testing these very soon on the channel. So stay tuned and make sure you hit that notification icon because 
uh, so you don't miss out because a lot of people actually email me saying, hey, did you test this? And it's something that I tested like three weeks ago. And I'll be like, yes, I tested it. And sometimes I just don't have time to reply or the, the email. I open the email, I get sidetracked. And when I get sidetracked, that's it. Your email's gone because I have a trillion other emails. And I just, I wouldn't be able to find you for the life of me. All right. So we already took a look at this, the Mamba stack. So we got two of these guys. Uh, we got the 20 by 20 and the 30 by 30. So let's just take a look. Which one is this one here? This one's 10 grams and this one's 19 grams. So this one's going to be a 30 by 30. So let's open, let's actually take a look at the specs here. So it's an F4 flight controller with MPU 6000 gyro, 16 megabytes of flash, beta flight OSD, 5 volt regulator, 50 amp, 50 amp, 5 SESCs. Oh no, sorry, <laughs> 50 amp, 5 second burst. And it's a 40 amp ESC, 3 to 6S LiPo. That's pretty insane for a price like this. This is a $40 freaking stack. So I've been waiting. Wow, this looks nice. Look at that. Do you see that? That's just really nice. That is really nice, actually. Wow. That's really cool. Okay, anyways. Uh, so, obviously, that's connected here with wire. So, is it going to be using its own pin connector? And I'm um, just taking a look at the board here. It looks pretty nice. It looks minimal. It looks really clean. Uh, we have to undo this here. So, let's just take a better look because this is the interesting part. Okay, so be careful when removing these because they also have rubber dampeners on the bottom of this which is really nice actually for 40 bucks so far this is really good but this is just the overall execution and nothing more uh oh so filtration looks super super minimal oh but these are really good uh i think these are the same branded fets that were on the tico 32 okay so filtration is is quite minimal and quite scary i would say um, don't know how that will stack up. Even the, even the, 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 uh, the soldering area is kind of strange as well. It looks like a airbot product maybe. So I don't know. Uh, so we're going to have to wait until we do the four in one ESC testing. So I have, I'm going to have a separate day for four in one ESC testing and I'll have probably two days will probably take or, and, uh, and a separate day for those single ESCs, the slim ones, and the Spedex ES30s. Now, the Spedex ES30 is going to be pretty interesting. I'm really curious, actually, how those are going to stack up. And actually, this one also. I think... Okay, so this is just me guessing. Now, this is not real life testing. This is just me guessing, and I really do hope that I'm wrong. I think the Mamba 20x20 stack is going to perform better than the 30x30 stack here. But again, like I said, I could be wrong. But this is just my current opinion, and I do love it when I'm wrong. Uh, so hopefully I'm wrong in that perspective. A lot of people have been waiting for this to be tested and uh, actually myself also. So I might do the 4-in-1 ESC testing first to see how well this performs. But again, the filtration on here looks kind of a bit too scary for my liking. But maybe they have a low ESR capacitor in here. Yeah, they do. Oh, look at this. Really nice. They give you the XT60 for 40 bucks. This is really good. But let's hope it actually performs good. So let's see this here. And uh, this is a Sanyo... I don't know how well this brand is. I need to test these low ESR capacitors versus the Rubicon. So these could be good also, but I have no idea how good they would be. And uh, this is really nice packaging, to be honest. I really like this a lot. So, all right. So let's put this down. So they do provide you a low ESR capacitor. And um, I would recommend you put a 1,000 microfarad low ESR capacitor on such a setup. All right. So the 30 by 30 stack. Now let's see the 20 by 20 stack. So, and again, it's just in this beautiful little packaging, which is really nice. All right, so let's see here. Hmm. Filtration, also minimal, but I would consider better than the uh, 30 amp version. I mean, the 30 by 30 version, because it's a lot smaller. It's going to be handling less current and smaller motors, hoping that you're going to not put it on a super massive build. Now, I will be testing this on big motors because it's rated for 25 amps. So I'll probably stick my normal 4-in-1 ESC testing setup on this, which is the Brother Hobby R7s, I think. Uh, 2306 2450 kV and uh, let's just see this real quick all righty so it looks it looks very similar to the Ori ESC as you can tell this one has current sensing filtration looks better than most uh, 20 by 20 stacks so that's really nice FETs here look like they're really good branded I'll take a look at the FETs data sheet when we're going to do the review and uh, I'm curious what is this for so we'll see. So it does have OSD, and I believe it's an F4. Yeah, it's an F4 processor, MPU 6000 gyro. And um, it looks really nice, but holy crap, nothing is labeled, if you can tell right there. Nothing is labeled. So you're going to need that documentation right next to you. So make sure you don't lose that documentation. 
Uh, we have a little boot button right there. I think this is a switching regulator right there. And uh, the MCU, the OSD. Uh, what is that? That's not a, that's, that's the crystal. Um, so tantalum capacitor for the OSD possibly, which is, should clean that up. One is going to be for the USB interface for the standards and a couple more other things as well. Oh, here we have another LDO. I think this is for the 3.3 volt regulator. Uh, I think this might have a 3.3 volt regulator. Let's just double check the, the, so the packaging isn't really as nice as the other one. Uh, the 30 by 30, I really liked how, how that was flipping and stuff. So yeah, here's the uh, manual here, as you can tell. And holy crap, this thing has a lot of things. So it does take PPM, S bus video out. It does have OSD, we already saw that. All right, so overall it looks really nice. It does come with low ESR capacitor as well. It's a, it's a Sanyo again, 470 microfarad, 25 volt low ESR capacitor, which should be good and which you should possibly use. Now they do provide you with the XT30 and the silicone wires and an extra uh, connection wire here, just in case if you lose the current one that's connecting the ESC to the flight controller. So, and again, for such a price, and I, again, I forgot the price, it's around 40 bucks. Oh, this, or the, I think the 30 by 30 was 40 bucks. For such a price, they do provide you with a lot of nice, cool things and everything is it's pretty much ready. And, um, and again, I'm not going to say, I can't get into much right now because this is just a mailbag video. And in the review, we're going to go in full depth. I'll actually even look up the FETS data sheet here and I'll do a close up with the microscope so you can do your own research as well if you wanted to. Uh, so that'll be nice in that perspective. And we just lost. Yeah, so you can do your own research. So that should be pretty interesting. So I really like the packaging. It's really nice. Um, and hopefully this thing performs. Maybe we'll do a little micro build. I haven't built a quad on my channel in a while now. So that'll be pretty interesting also. I really like the packaging. I really I really like this thing here. It's really cool. Um, but I mean, that doesn't really do much for us. But it's really nice. All right, so something off topic other than these things that I also received. I picked up a bunch of these here, and I'll show you what these are. It's because I'm going to be doing a lot of SMD things. And uh, the ultimate dongle, if you've been watching my channel, I have built one. And this will work with iBus and SBus, and this will allow you to play any emulator with iBus and SBus receivers. And uh, we'll have a video on this very soon also. This is... Uh, the one that I've built, as you can tell, for support HTTP drone uh, Hopefully, we're going to be seeing these come to uh, life, and then uh, you can pick up some if you wanted to. They're really interesting. I'll show you a video on this. So, yeah, I picked up these here. These are heads for my rework station. Uh, there's a bunch of different sizes that I picked up. I'll leave a link to them down below, which I thought were really nice and going to be very useful also. So, as you can tell here, it distributes the heat accordingly to whatever size chip you want so you can just put that over and then you know take the whole thing so it's really nice i really like this here um so i can't wait to use these so these are gonna be pretty interesting and well that's currently it so now we're just gonna have to wait a little bit for the upcoming esc testing i'll probably start today with the single escs or actually the four in one escs because my current setup is set up on the four in one escs so we'll probably do that first and then we'll jump to the other things as well that I have. Currently, I have a couple projects and finishing up the FlySky project, the, the multi-protocol mod. If you missed that multi-protocol mod, check a couple videos back. What it is, it allows you to basically bind FR Sky, Crossfire, whatever you want to your FlySky transmitter. And uh, I just received my 3D printer yesterday and uh, I've been printing on it. And I am, to be honest, I am quite surprised and quite amazed at how easy it was to set up and actually start printing. So within three hours, I already had my two prints for the GoPro, not the GoPro, the Runcam 3S, because I also need to test that and I haven't because I didn't have a mount. And uh, the Creality CR10 Mini has absolutely been great. And I'll have an update video on that later on. I'll leave it linked down below. Everything here is linked down below. If you can click those links, those greatly support the channel. And also guys, if you can support this channel, that'd be absolutely awesome. I need all the support I currently can get at the current moment in time. And, um, that's, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.